This is the review video for DNA and forensic science. So we're going to go over more about the anatomy of DNA and stuff in the lecture portion, but you most of you know DNA is genetic material. What this is going to take you through is how DNA is used and when you hear about a DNA fingerprint, how it's used to solve crimes. So what you'll do here is you can just watch this video and you can try this at home if you want. I'm not going to make you do it, but it just shows you how you can pull the DNA out of a living organism. And you can actually do the same thing with human cells. Um, I couldn't find a good video on that one. So this shows you how it's pulled out of a strawberry. And to be honest, at the level that you were looking at it in the video, strawberry DNA looks the same as human DNA, even though we know there has to be differences. Um, so activity two, what it's going to do, it's going to go through and show you and explain to you how DNA is used in forensic science and what DNA fingerprint means in just making you understand that it's really not a fingerprint. Um, it has nothing to do with your fingerprints. And so it's going to show you what a DNA fingerprint, what that really means. Um, to show you the process, this is on a very microscopic small level. And so to show you the process, it's actually better to use animations because they kind of blow things up so you can see it. So this talks about it step by step. And what you might want to do is watch the videos and go through the process and then come back and look at this. And this should make a little more sense. So what you're going to do, and this link is not only here, but it's also on in lab five under the folder, is it's going to take you through what's called a PCR reaction. And so you get a small DNA sample. We've got to multiply that several times. And so this is going to show you how it does that. So you go through and you basically go through the uh, animation and you answer the questions as you go along. And just keep answering those questions. And then once we have it multiplied, then we need to put it into a gel and separate the strands of DNA. So you'll you'll link on this. And again, that this link is also located under lab five. It'll show you a gel electrophoresis and what that is. And again, by the time you get done with this, you should have a basic understanding of, of the process and how they use DNA. Then we're actually going to use the processes you just learned about to solve a wildlife crime. So remember Gorongosa. Gorongosa is where we were the first lab where we did the observation. Well in all areas of Africa they're having issues. We're losing so many African elephants because poachers kill the elephants to take their tusks and so it's just it's just bad. So what they'll do is they'll kill the elephant, take their tusks, and pretty much leave everything else there. And so one way they can identify or follow the tusks is by looking at their DNA. So they can collect DNA from the elephant that was killed. And if they find the tusks or the ivory somewhere else, they can compare the DNA. So it gives them ideas about how the tusks are traveling and where the tusks are. And it helps, it can connect poachers to exact elephants to make it easier um, to to stop them from doing that again. So basically you're going to click on this link or like I said the link if this link doesn't work from Word you just go to lab 5 and the link will be there and then you're just going to go through and these are actual cases actual elephants you'll be looking at the DNA of the elephants um, and how they connected them to the ivory right to their tusks and you're just going to go through that step by step and pretty much in a person case if you've got a person you're trying to connect the DNA, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, you're looking for uh, patterns in the DNA, the DNA fingerprint, and you're going to see if you can identify whether the tusks they found match the elephants that, that were killed. So you'll just go through that and answer all the questions. You'll save it and then you'll submit it. So again, um, this is just again a review of the DNA and the way it's used in forensic science.